The forest male. <laughs> what is it? The um, United Forest Male. <laughs> United Forest Male. Salutations, viewers. My name is Game Dame, and welcome to Kind Words, Lo-Fi Beats, Lo-Fi Chill Beats to Write To. Now, I think this is like the third game that we found that has lo-fi like incorporated into the game. I think one was a cabin, and I mean another was another room. And I just think it's funny how many games there are that are like this that seem to be very successful uh, with it. So. We're gonna go ahead and start and see what this one has to offer, unlike the other ones. Hello, I'm Ella and I'm new in town. I'm your new male deer. I'm your first male deer? My job is to carry letters back and forth between people who need cheering up, which is only everybody, because everybody gets sad or scared. I'm even a little nervous about my new job here. I don't suppose you'd write me an encouraging note, please? Then I deliver it to myself and feel better at my job. Oh, do I actually... Oh, this is nice. The forest male... <laughs> What is it? The um, United Forest Mail. <laughs> United Forest Mail. Um, you're gonna do great as my first male deer. Love. Game Dame. I know, I have the kindest letter ever. Before I register you with the post office, I need to make a couple things super clear. This is cool that they have like a, a um, more of like an intimate thing happening here, like someone walking you through it, which the other two didn't have. Kind Words is full of real people talking about real problems. Oh, this is not a place for mean jokes, bullying, or flippant responses. That makes sense. Also, this isn't a place to meet people. Don't share any identifying details or links. I do what I can to keep this a safe, caring place, but I'm only one deer. You may run into a jerk or some bad advice. Please report them. If you're ready to be kind and receive kindness in return, please sign here. Yes, Game Dame. That's me. Nice to meet you, Game Dame. <clears throat> Give me a second to register you with the post office. Thank you. All set. Now, if you want to... Want letters, all you have to do is ask for them. Maybe you're worried about something just like I was with this job. It can be scary, but don't be afraid to ask people for help. See you soon. This is pretty nice. That's pretty cool that it's like actual real life people. I definitely want to decorate, but it doesn't look like I'll be... Oh. I think I like this one. Back. So it looks like we can't really decorate it. <clears throat> oh, I mean, I love lavender. That's my favorite scent. So it looks, yeah, they all have the same format where they're all um, kind of just what does title mean? Oh, God. I didn't want to go to the title. That's what title meant. So I can't customize my character at all. What are the requests? How do I tell my friend that him being the queen is just a joke? It has been... Uh, it has been at beginning, but now it's almost like it's gotten into his head way too much. Heck, even the girl in love with him is sick of it too. I do not know what to expect, keeping bit distance. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm writing my first letter. 
So how do you turn that being a queen is a joke? This is interesting. So like when you mention that uh, being a queen is a joke, what do you see there? I don't know what, what, what their response is like. Was it bad at first? Did it give them self-confidence? If I can only spell. Where's the spell check in here? Um, if it's gotten to be too much, it might be best to just sit down and talk about how it was meant to be at first then elaborate as to why they and then ask why they went as far as they did and what it means to them to be a queen because i feel like some people um will take that as something and own it they may be starting to own it now to help them with their own issues. GD. I don't have a sticker though. Can I, it's not officially part of my job, but I can't help it. I got this hobby. Can I tell you? I think you'll dig it. I've been mix, making mixtapes one song at a time. I discovered Soft Focus by Clark Abowd yesterday, and it's so chill. I hope you like it. Don't forget, you can click on the radio to change the music. I really like the format they've been doing with this. Because um, not only is it nice to chill and relax and write letters. This was totally different than what I was expecting it to be. I didn't think I was gonna be responding or writing stuff to other people and I didn't think that all of this was going to be um, like real responses. I, this is interesting. I kind of really like this. I'm in a funny mood. I think my girlfriend is annoyed at me. Honestly, she she's kind of justified. I'm pretty antisocial. Sometimes she's just a bit full on but also I know I'm annoying I don't know if she's great but I don't know if we're a good match sometimes hey F in a relationship you guys are, you guys are seeing peak peak GD right now it is best to say what is on your mind right when it happens I fell victim to holding on to whatever I was feeling and it ended up me blowing up on my partner. And it's never a good feeling. Please communicate. Communication is key. Communicate with your partner and see how both of you could potentially grow. Or tackle these issues you guys might be having. But make, sh make sure to let them know you hear them. Hear them. See them. And you're listening. That's most important. Yay! Look at us. Not not sure if like my advice is like literally the best, but it's something. I feel like I recently moved back to my home. So I'm just gonna reply anyways. I'm just gonna reply to her first few. This is interesting. I really like this. I recently moved back into my hometown. I miss the country I was living in. Problem is that my family lives here and I miss them when I'm not here. But life is harder in this country than the one I used to live. Should I move back again? Hey Kay. Family is tough. Being away from family is tough. 
But I know that when you start living your own life or, um, but I know what's it called? holding yourself back from what from where you want to be is also equally as tough. It's a balance and that balance sometimes will be toppled one way or the other. I think you should follow what is in your heart but also be mindful uh, follow what is in your heart because one day there will be potential regret no i feel like that's kind of like condescending um i'm not trying to like tell them what they should do but like just to follow with what they want and i'm sorry that my green screen is doing this it's because of the pink lighting that's really making my green screen go a little nuts right now. <laughs> um, maybe I should change the background. These decisions will always be hard, but I hope your family has your back no matter what decision you make because in the end you have to make decisions for your own health and well-being in the end i'm going to change the backgrounds Oh, someone sends their thanks from the letter you wrote and another uh, Banana Man sticker. That's really nice. I want to change my area. That might be a little bit better, a little bit more calming. I know green is always funny to have up um, with my green screen. I really like... This one's giving cozy cabin vibes. Does anybody want to be letterbox friends? I love the app and I just think it's fun to have. I will. I'm okay. Hi, gays. I'm a lesbian. My girlfriend doesn't play video games and likes to play and like to play TikTok, but I enjoy playing video games. How can we maintain a long distance relationship? Okay. Uh. Hello, S. I am not, I am an ally to the LGBTQIA plus community. Um, and you're welcome to read this or not, but long distance, but I've had experience in long distance relationships they are hard they are difficult they do take a lot of trust patience is it patience i don't know if that's how you spell patience patience i think that's pay patience yeah i think that's how it's spelled a lot of trust patients and um what's the term to like meet people in the middle um i think i'm, I'm just gonna type in communication if you don't in if your partner doesn't enjoy video games maybe introducing small games might be helpful or start watching shows together engage with what they want ask what they need and have those hard conversations or engage with them 
and see what they would like to do and maybe switch off and on between activities between you two one day it's you the other her gd i'm not sure if like my if what i'm doing is good <laughs> i just i don't mind replying to these we'll reply to a few more because i think it's interesting to see what people have been thinking about for a while that fe that they felt like they couldn't talk to people about i found out that i'm allergic to basically everything dust pollens dogs cats feathers etc my dog is literally setting off my hives and i'm so tired of taking and antihistamines all the time however he's worth all the drugs because he's the best dog i just need to vent hey s I am a huge animal lover, but I also am huge into, um, into making sure you're as healthy and happy as you can be. It's good to vent, but I can only imagine how much of a struggle it is. Um... If you believe it's worth it, then it is. Then it is. I know your puppy loves you very much and appreciates what you do for them. Even if their brain is the size of a pea. <laughs> GD. See, there we go. I'm doing good. Oh, wow. Look at me getting these stickers. I wonder, I'll make a request. My first of the request letters. What are you worried about? Maybe someone else is too. Hey guys. Um, I've been wondering. Hello. Um. I am, I'm going to get a little into it, you guys. I am scared of childbirth. Um, my sisters just had kids and I want kids, but I'm scared for what may happen to me because of, because of it. Poss, um, thoughts. I'm absolutely terrified of childbirth. Um, Cause to me, like what, what will happen to my body? I know it'll bounce back, but there's so many things that I don't know which could happen with it. And uh, I'm absolutely terrified of it just because of all the unknowns. It works well for other people, but it may not work well for me, which is why I think, um, Treat your stomach well. Don't remember there's still lots of delicious food in the world. I don't know what this is. Don't forget to stretch. Is I guess, is that in response to what I wrote? Hello, I was recommended by others to play this game. Today is my first day here. I think it's really warm here. I like it very much. Oh, so these, I think these are just like... I don't know. Open. Oh, I have something. Oh, these are welcome to kind words. Got you. It's a nice little welcome. All right, let's see what kind of stickers we got. Huh. 
Look at the banana. I love it. And I'll write one more. It's time to shout from the rooftops. Write on a paper airplane instead of flying through everyone's rooms. Tell everyone that they're beautiful. Oh, so that's what it is. Um, my 2023 quote of the year is... I can totally <laughs> type. Is this... Survive and thrive in the You will be the best version of yourself this year and you will be able to conquer What's it called conquer um or conquer your battles this year. We love and support you, GD. That's cool. I like that. I didn't realize how many people are actually playing this game right now. Have a good day. Thank you. Wow, it's actually crazy to see how many people are doing this right now. I really like this. 63. What does 63 mean? But this is a pretty interesting game. I really, really like it. Um, we'll, we'll say nice things, view requests. Um... Let's reply to one more. I want to get better at remembering to eat, but I never get hunger cues, so I don't know how to feed myself. Sometimes food just feels nauseating and I have to force myself to eat. I eat maybe once a day, yet I'm still 200 pounds. I hate it and don't understand. Hey, S. Um, I also have a weird relationship with food as I binge eat when I'm stressed or bored. Uh, I also have a hard time losing weight and it's always a battle because I love food. I love cuisine. I should just say food. Um, sometimes we won't always get those hunger cues just due to lack of nutrition. Maybe start with some with snacking throughout the day as this has helped me because I don't of course everyone has their own food journey and But whatever you decide to do, know that you are supported. Everyone has their own food journey. I feel like it's hard to tell someone else what to do, especially since you have such different body types from other people, appetites and stuff in the back. Like, it's extremely hard. What is this? Someone wrote me a letter. Oh, for my request. I got a sticker. It can certainly be a scary thing, very risky too, and even life-threatening in some cases. But what is is that specifically scares you? The physical aspect, the aspect of bringing new life into the world, the responsibility and vulnerability of it too. I would say all of those. I think talking with your sis who had children and your mother, any females with children that you are close to, there could be an insecurity and underlying anxiety issue relating to someone else even. If you want kids, you should be trying to figure out and hopefully get answers. That was really nice. I really like that. I think a lot of those aspects scare me, what they said. It's how I'm feeling afterwards, how society will see me, which I shouldn't worry about. But it's also just like, uh, am I going to have any trouble during the process, which is, I think, what scares me most. And if I, my life will be at risk and wondering if that child will have a will I be a good mother? 
that's that, that at the end of the day i just i know i'm not ready now but i know seeing my niece and nephew i'm just like man a baby is really cute <laughs> but that's also a living human being you got to be a role model for so there's a lot to it but i really like this i could actually see myself replying to letters for hours just because uh i like this kind of shit and that's just me but if you guys have tried it um what was something you submitted if you don't mind sharing and what was a response that you liked or that helped you out let me know in the comments down below but that is all the time i have for you guys today thank you guys so much for watching i highly appreciate your time as always but please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my youtube but to my twitch you guys know where my youtube is at but you can find my twitch at twitch.tv slash the game dame thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye